spending the evening with Mayor Floyd? Yeah, I, I don't know. Going to a cocktail party with the mayor isn't exactly my idea of a good time, but, you know, I am taking Alexis's place, so do you know if she's still awake? If she was when I was just there, so... Good. Listen, um, if you don't mind me asking, have you spoken to her oncologist? Yeah. It doesn't look so good. And the cancer, it is, um spread to some surrounding areas and they want to start chemotherapy but they can't because she's still too weak from the surgery so. oh, I'm, I'm sorry I, I had no idea you know despite the prognosis she seems to be in high spirits I'm sure that has a lot to do with you yep um, I am doing what I can help well you know Alexis's primary concern are our children it must be comforting for her to know that you know you're there to help Rick with Christina and Molly in any way you can I think if things stay that way I think she'll recover much faster. The last thing Alexis needs to hear right now is that Rick and Sam slept together. Slept together? Yeah. Call it like it is. He got her sloppy drunk and took advantage of her, and I can't believe that you're going to let him get away with it. But Sam believes that if, if Alexis finds out about that night, then, you know, she's going to push her family away. She's not going to want to survive. You're underestimating Alexis. Oh, yeah. And again, you tend to do that with most women. Thank you. Look, if Alexis finds out the kind of man that Rick really is, she's going to fight tooth and nail to stay alive to protect her daughter. I promised Jason and Sam that I'd keep this quiet. Doesn't mean Rick's going to keep it quiet. I got Rick under control. I think you're wrong. Rick is motivated by hate and envy, and under the right circumstances, he will turn against anyone, Sonny. Tell you, I Rick can't stand that you picked Jason over him. He's fed up, Sonny, and he's looking for a win. I know how Rick operates. All, all he cares about is how much he matters to You need to be careful. He's cold and calculating, and he will stop at nothing to get what he wants. Look, he's playing this caring brother to the extreme. I'm afraid that's all going to change, so I just want you to be careful, okay? Just like I, I don't want to see Jax mow you down. That's different. Different? I've worked very hard to rebuild my life and I'm not going to give that up for Jax but I do like that you care you know what I think you should go with this one you don't even know what they're for you always get new suits made this time of the year and that one's going to go really nice with your eyes Well, I hope that the good citizens of Port Charles can count on you and your financial support. Well, that can be arranged if you're willing to use, say, one of my construction companies to oversee the renovations. Well, some may consider that to be questionable behavior. Or donation. That just happens to benefit both of us. I'll have my secretary set up a meeting. Great. How long will you be in town? Still being negotiated. Well, I'm beginning to think that you stood me up. Oh. Okay, I know that we still have some trust issues to iron out. Hold that thought. One second. Excuse me. Yes. If you want a prayer at a second term, you need to dump your interim DA. Now. Lansing is a self-serving snake, and he doesn't give a damn about this city. Mr. Lansing's record speaks for itself. Why don't you dig a little further? I was kidnapped in the summer of 2003. Rick Lansing locked me in a room, chained me to a wall while I was pregnant. He's a twisted freak. He will use his position to push his own agenda. The fact that that man can walk into a courtroom without being shackled to a table is a crime in itself. If there had been any charges filed, I would have seen them. And in their absence, it's your word against his. You are a gangster's ex-wife, and Mr. Lansing happens to be a very competent DA. Who do you think I'm going to be inclined to believe? Mr. I think Jax. the lady deserves an apology. Um, Mr. Jax, really may I remind sorry, you that I... my contributions can remove you from office as easily as they push you here. I apologize if there was any misunderstanding. Excuse me.
you for the rescue. I had everything under control. Oh, I wasn't protecting you. I seen your hook. I need to take care of something. No, you need to. I take care of this. The next general hospital. I'm not interested in anything you have to say. You think you know everything? Maybe you don't. You put those two together, and you get a lot more you bargained for. Well, that's gonna go a long way to help Alexis recovering from her cancer. I mean it, Rick. I've made my decision. What are you gonna do?